For years, Mars has teased us with a mystery. Strange dark streaks running down its slopes, appearing in warmer months, disappearing in colder ones. Was there evidence of liquid water, life, or something else entirely? NASA called them Recurring Slope Lini, RSL. Scientists were baffled, but recently, artificial intelligence helped crack the case. And what it discovered changes everything we thought we knew about Mars and its past. Let's uncover how AI is revealing the Red Planet's slippery secrets. The mystery of the slope streaks. Since the early 2010s, spacecraft orbiting Mars, particularly NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, have captured an intriguing and perplexing phenomenon, dark streaks that mysteriously appear on steep Martian slopes. These streaks, known as RSL, have captivated planetary scientists and space enthusiasts alike. They seem to emerge, grow, and then fade in sync with the changing Martian seasons, painting a dynamic, seasonal picture of a planet once thought to be entirely static and lifeless. At first glance, these dark lines ignited a surge of excitement within the scientific community. The reason? They seem to suggest the presence of flowing liquid water, an astonishing possibility in Mars' cold and arid environment. If these streaks were caused by briny water seeping down the slopes, it would mark the presence of modern-day water activity on the Red Planet. That, in turn, would raise the tantalizing prospect that Mars might still harbor microbial life, hidden away in salty protected niches. For astrobiologists, it was a potential breakthrough. Suddenly, the dry, dusty surface of Mars seemed not so barren after all. The implications were enormous. Flowing water wouldn't just reshape how we understand Mars, it would reshape where and how we look for life beyond Earth. Future missions could be directed toward these active regions. Instruments could be tuned to detect biological signatures. Even the long-term dream of human colonization could hinge on this. Water is life, and water is fuel. However, Mars is a planet of secrets, and this one refused to reveal itself easily. Over the years, as more data was gathered, the scientific consensus began to shift. Evidence of water became more ambiguous. Were these really saltwater flows, or simply dry dust avalanches behaving in unexpected ways? Could thermal processes or shifting surface materials explain the patterns instead? Despite detailed imaging and careful analysis, no single explanation stood out as definitive. For nearly a decade, the question lingered. What was behind these slope streaks? Then, in a breakthrough that reflects the era we live in, artificial intelligence joined the investigation. Leveraging machine learning AI was able to detect patterns and correlations invisible to the human eye. The mystery began to unravel, finally pushing the boundaries of what we thought we knew about Mars. Enter AI, training a machine to think like a geologist. Faced with the ongoing mystery of Mars' recurring slope Linny, NASA scientists and researchers at the University of Arizona realized that traditional analysis methods had reached their limits. The sheer volume of data collected by instruments, like the high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, was overwhelming. We are talking thousands upon thousands of high-resolution images, each packed with subtle details that could hold the key to understanding the slope streaks. No single scientist, or even team of scientists, could feasibly analyze them all with the required granularity. So, they turned to a new kind of investigator, artificial intelligence. This wasn't just about teaching a computer to spot dark streaks on Martian hillsides. It was about helping it think like a planetary geologist. Using machine learning techniques, the team developed an algorithm capable of scanning vast image datasets and pulling out patterns that might otherwise go unnoticed. More than just basic image recognition, this was contextual pattern analysis, an approach that looked at each streak not in isolation, but as a feature embedded within a rich environmental context. The AI was fed, not just images, but layers of related data such as slope angle, how steep the terrain was in each location, solar exposure, how much sunlight hit the area over time, temperature data, thermal profiles from orbit, both daytime and nighttime, seasonal timing, when in the Martian year the streaks appeared and faded, and lastly, geological surroundings, what kind of rock, dust, or sediment was nearby. By layering all this information, the AI could begin to understand the context of each streak where it formed, under what conditions, and how it changed over time. It didn't just look at one variable in isolation. It learned to cross-reference data the way a trained geologist might, identifying subtle connections that hint at deeper processes beneath the surface. The result was extraordinary, a kind of digital Martian geologist, not shaped by years in a classroom or experience in the field, but trained through exposure to millions of pixels and terabytes of planetary data. It could process in hours, what would take humans months, if not years. And in doing so, it brought us one step closer to solving the Martian riddle that had eluded us for so long. What the AI found, dust, not water. After months of training and analysis, the AI reached a conclusion. 
one that surprised many and quietly affirmed the suspicions of others. The mysterious dark streaks on Martian slopes weren't evidence of water seeping through the soil. They weren't briny flows or melting subsurface ice. Instead, they were caused by something far more mundane, yet no less fascinating dry, granular flows. In layman terms, dust avalanches. The AI's findings were remarkably consistent across thousands of images. The streaks only appeared on slopes, steep enough for loose surface material to slide under the force of gravity, analogous to the angle at which sand begins to cascade down a dune on Earth. But the slope alone wasn't the whole story. These features always emerged under specific environmental conditions, during the sunniest, warmest parts of the Martian year, and on slopes that received direct solar exposure. The AI's ability to correlate streak activity with solar heating and surface temperatures revealed a key insight. Sunlight plays a direct role in triggering these dust slides. When the thin Martian atmosphere warms up, even by just a few degrees, it can subtly destabilize the dusty surface, allowing fine-grained material to slip downslope. No water is needed, no ice required, just dust, gravity, and sunlight. This was not the romantic vision many had hoped for. The idea of current liquid water on Mars had sparked headlines, energized mission planners, and stirred dreams of life clinging on in sheltered briny seeps. But science often replaces big dreams with deeper understanding, and in this case, the truth was just as valuable. This discovery marked a turning point. While it closed one door, the possibility that Mars' present-day surface hosts liquid water, it opened another. A clearer view into the planet's dynamic surface processes and climate behavior. Understanding how dust moves on Mars isn't trivial. Dust plays a crucial role in the planet's weather, its seasonal temperature shifts, and even its global dust storms. The AI didn't just solve a mystery. It gave scientists a powerful new lens through which to study a living, changing planet. And in doing so, it redefined what discovery looks like on a world millions of miles away. Key takeaways. One, Mars is still active. One of the most persistent misconceptions about Mars is that it's a dead world, frozen in time, geologically dormant and unchanging. For decades, that image shaped how we imagined the red planet, a once lively place that had long since gone quiet. But the truth is far more compelling. Mars may no longer have rivers flowing through canyons or oceans lapping against ancient shorelines, but it is far from static. In fact, it's still very much alive, at least geologically. The dark slope streaks, once suspected to be signs of water, have instead revealed something equally important. Mars is still reshaping itself. These recurring features, which appear and fade with the Martian seasons, are clear evidence of surface activity. Dust shifts, slopes slide, dunes ripple, the landscape is in constant, every so subtle motion, sculpted not by flowing water, but by gravity, wind, and thermal forces. Thanks to the AI's analysis, scientists can now confidently say that Mars experiences regular, seasonal surface changes. In some cases, these changes can occur within just a few weeks or months, a pace that's surprisingly dynamic for a world with such a thin atmosphere and cold climate. While Earth's geological forces are driven by plate tectonics and weather systems, Mars tells a quieter, but no less fascinating story of movement. Landslides triggered by solar heating, sand dunes migrating across basins, and dust slopes etching temporary trails across the plains. The AI didn't just solve a long-standing Martian riddle. It uncovered the subtle heartbeat of a planet that still breathes slowly, silently, but unmistakably. By identifying and tracking these shifting features across time, scientists now have a tool to monitor ongoing change on Mars in real time. This insight transforms how we think about Mars. It's no longer just a relic of the solar system's past. It's an active participant in the present. And this activity has implications for everything from future exploration and rover landings to understanding the planet's climate evolution. In the end, the AI didn't just analyze images. It delivered a message. Mars still has a pulse, and we're only beginning to understand its rhythm. Two, no flowing water, but still historic. The discovery that Mars' modern-day slope streaks are caused by dry dust flows not liquid water might seem like a setback, at first, but it's important to understand what this finding does not mean. It doesn't rewrite the fact that Mars once had a much wetter past. In fact, it reinforces the importance of that history. Mars may not have water flowing across its surface today, but the evidence of its ancient aquatic landscape is still undeniable. We can see the dry riverbeds, deltas, lake basins, and what may have once been vast oceans stretching across hemispheres. These are not guesses. They are geological fingerprints, carved into the surface over billions of years. They tell the story of a planet that once had a climate far more Earth-like than the frigid desert we see now. 
What the AI contributes to this story is not just an answer, but a deeper timeline. By studying the movement of dust and the seasonal behavior of the surface today, scientists can begin to piece together when Mars transitioned from wet to dry. How long did water persist? What regions dried up first? How have solar heating, thin atmosphere, and constant wind reshaped the terrain since the water vanished? These are critical questions. Because while there may be no liquid water flowing now, the conditions that once supported it are directly tied to the planet's potential for life. If life ever existed on Mars, if microbes once swam in its lakes or clung to the edges of its rivers, understanding when and how those habitats disappeared is essential. It tells us not just where to look for ancient biosignatures, but what environmental windows of opportunity might have existed. Mars's transformation from a wet world to a dry one didn't happen overnight. It was a gradual shift, shaped by changing atmospheric conditions, volcanic activity, solar radiation, and the loss of its magnetic field. The AI, by decoding modern-day dust movements and geological activity, gives researchers a sharper view of that slow motion change. While this chapter closes the book on present-day flowing water, it opens a much bigger one about planetary evolution, climate collapse, and the enduring question of life beyond Earth. Why AI was crucial, beyond human limits. Could a dedicated team of human scientists have eventually solved the mystery of Mars's slope streaks? Possibly. Given enough time, resources, and persistence, the truth might have come to light. But there's a catch. It would have taken decades, perhaps even generations, to sift through the immense volumes of data, cross-reference variables, and test every plausible theory against real-world observations. This is where artificial intelligence changed everything. The challenge wasn't a lack of intelligence or curiosity on the part of scientists. It was a matter of scale. Instruments like HiRISE have captured hundreds of thousands of high-resolution images of Mars. Each image contains countless geological features, subtle patterns, and context-specific variables. To thoroughly analyze all of it by hand would have required an army of researchers working continuously for years. And even then, much of the insight would be limited by human perception our tendency to focus on what we already expect to see. Artificial intelligence doesn't have that limitation. By training a machine learning model on Mars image and environmental datasets, scientists were able to equip it with the ability to not only see the patterns, but to understand them in context. The AI could scan images for slope streaks, measure their angles, compare solar exposure, match temperature profiles, and analyze geological surroundings all at once. It wasn't looking at one image per day, it was processing thousands simultaneously at a scale no human team could match. And that's the turning point. This wasn't just AI assisting a research effort, it was leading it. The machine didn't replace scientists. It amplified their capabilities, exploring theories and patterns at a pace that accelerated discovery by orders of magnitude. What could have taken humans 20 years was done in a fraction of that time. In many ways, this moment represents a shift in how planetary science will be done going forward. Mars is just the beginning. As we gather more data from the Moon, Europa, Titan, and exoplanets beyond, the volume of information will only grow. To keep up, to make sense of it all, AI will be essential not as a tool, but as a collaborator in discovery. Mars gave us the test case. Artificial intelligence passed it. What's next? Intelligence in space exploration. The discovery of dry slope streaks on Mars is just the beginning. What started as a targeted investigation into a planetary puzzle has opened the door to something much bigger, an entirely new way of exploring space. Artificial intelligence is no longer a background tool, quietly crunching numbers. It's becoming a frontline partner in the search for knowledge beyond Earth. Today, artificial intelligence is already playing a pivotal role in mission planning and planetary science. It's helping identify safe landing zones for rovers, scanning Martian terrain for hazards, and analyzing topographic data to select optimal paths for exploration. It's also being trained to detect subsurface ice deposits, critical resources for both robotic missions and future human settlers. By processing radar and thermal data, AI can pinpoint locations where frozen water might lie just beneath the dusty surface. But its role doesn't stop there. Perhaps the most ambitious application is in the search for signs of life. Large language models are being trained to recognize biosignatures, chemical, and geological indicators that may suggest past microbial activity. These systems can flag subtle patterns in rock formations, mineral deposits, or chemical traces that could easily be missed by human analysts, especially when dealing with massive datasets. Looking ahead, missions to places like Europa, Titan, and Enceladus moons, believed to harbor subsurface oceans, will generate staggering amounts of complex data. The technology will be essential in filtering the noise, highlighting what matters, and making real-time decisions as spacecraft operate millions of miles from Earth. 
It's not just about answering questions, it's about knowing which questions to ask in the first place. And here's the truly exciting part. AI won't just help us understand other worlds. It might help us live there. In the future, intelligent systems could manage habitats, monitor environmental conditions, allocate resources, and assist astronauts in real-time decision-making. Imagine a Martian colony, where AI tracks air quality, predicts dust storms, and suggests optimal energy usage all before a human even realizes there's a problem. From decoding geological mysteries to supporting human survival, AI is becoming an indispensable part of space exploration. We've only just begun to tap into its potential, and the universe is waiting. Philosophical twist. Solving mysteries, shaping dreams. In the end, the dark slope streaks on Mars weren't signs of flowing water. They weren't liquid lifelines or evidence of an active hydrological cycle. They were dust fine grains, cascading down sunlit slopes, quietly rewriting our assumptions. On the surface, it may seem like a mundane conclusion, but the journey to get there was anything but. These streaks were more than geological curiosities. They were questions, compelling, mysterious, and full of potential. Questions that sparked debates, inspired research, and captured the imagination of scientists and dreamers alike. They made us wonder what kind of world Mars truly is and what it might still become. They made us hope. And while the answer didn't confirm our most optimistic hopes, it pushed us into new territory. Because when artificial intelligence stepped in, it didn't just deliver data, it changed the game. It revealed patterns we couldn't see, asked questions we hadn't thought to pose, and suggested that the universe might hold more secrets than we're prepared to find on our own. Now that AI can help us decode the language of dust, what else might it help us understand? If dust can move like water, could other Martian processes be mimicking life or hiding it? If machines can outthink us in planetary geology, what about chemistry, climatology, or the search for biosignatures on distant moons plus exoplanets? We're standing at the edge of a new era, not just in exploration, but in how we think. For the first time, we're building tools that don't just extend our reach, they extend our imagination. The technology isn't just helping us answer questions, it's becoming a co-author in the way we ask them. And maybe that's the deeper meaning here. The slope streak mystery wasn't just about Mars. It was about pushing the boundaries of curiosity, about learning that every mystery, even one made of dust, can reshape how we look at the universe and ourselves. This isn't just science, it's a partnership between humans and machines, between questions and discovery, between what we know and what we dare to imagine next. Artificial intelligence just solved one of Mars' most mysterious features. And in doing so, it reminded us that discovery doesn't always mean finding life. It means understanding the universe on its terms. If this blew your mind, like the video and hit subscribe for more stories where science and technology meet the stars. In the comments, tell us, what's the next big space mystery you want AI to solve? Thanks for watching. Stay blessed, stay curious, and keep exploring.